I want to begin by reading a poem which is completely out of sequence of anything else. It's the last poem that I wrote, and it was written uh, in the middle of the night, to, to my great surprise. Uh, Adrian Rich had just died, and that's, that's uh, only less than, I think, two weeks, about two weeks ago. Um, and I woke up with this, the beginning of, of this poem in my mind. I got up and uh, sat up and, until I'd finished it. And the title of her last book is Telephone Ringing in the Labyrinth, which is, I think, a startling title. And uh, the title of the poem, with giving the quote, below it, blow it, is Telephone Ringing. It is you, it is you. It can only be you calling, and I cannot answer in time, whatever time is, if not answered. Though I can hear your voice without its words, your own voice, yours alone speaking to me throughout the dark echoes, echoless, ageless corridors of six decades out of reach and beyond answering, if I knew what to answer. Then we laughed as we talked about likeness and difference and the echoes of change, about recognition and its one sound, while we changed without knowing we were changing, and we were answering, though the question was still there, as we never answered, and we never answered it, I remember. Now, without an answer, now without answering, while it keeps ringing, sorry, and we never answered it, I remember, now, without answering, while it keeps ringing, while it rings on and I do not answer, and still do not know what the question is. We were speaking last night about how we, neither of us, are academics. And it made me think about one of your early teachers, R.P. Blackmer, who was also not an academic, but someone who wrote so beautifully about poetry that they had to hire him at Princeton. <laughs> he was a young man. They didn't treat him very well. But they... they didn't treat him well. No. 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 But I'm wondering about that un- and even anti-academic thing. Um, you know, Blackbird to, to me, and I, I, I don't pretend to be an expert on criticism, and as I was leaving Princeton to go on, my, on with my life, and, uh, I said that I was rereading his books, and he said, oh, he said, don't do that. He said, you've read quite enough criticism, just get on with reading poetry. He said, don't read too much criticism, it just gets in your way. Uh, but I thought of, um, he'd saved me more than once, really. I didn't know about it, but I found out from being bounced out of Princeton, because I did, I was, a, I was a, I must have been a very unrewarding student to some of the, some of the teachers. Uh, to others, it was perfectly okay, but, uh, you know, in an assignment, I would go away and take all the books that I was supposed to, but I'd take all the books around them, too, and all the things they referred to, and I, I would get, you know, I kept hearing names of people I haven't heard, so I would have to start reading them, too and trying to get it all in, which I didn't do. So I wouldn't have done the assignment terribly well, but I'd read part of the assignment much better than I was expected to. And it depended on how adaptable a teacher could be to somebody um, 
to somebody who insisted on doing it their own way and really couldn't do it differently. I couldn't be a good student. I just, it just wasn't in me. And um, uh, Blackmer kept telling the faculty, the ones who minded it, how important it was to be able to take the people who had to do it in an exceptional way for whatever exceptional reasons there were. And uh, there was once a letter that he asked me to take from one part of the, uh, to, to, to deliver over to, to, to go to somebody, to a dean, who I knew was hostile to me. And he left, the, left it unsealed. I think he meant for me to read it on the way. And I, st <laughs> I, I stopped and read it. And he said, he said the, the imaginative strength of an institution can be measured by its ability to hold within itself in, in balance the seeds of its own destruction. And uh, he said, you know, if it can't do that, it's dead and its days are numbered. And he said, your job is to be able to, to spot what's original and, or, and extraordinary and to cultivate that and to, to, as well as all of the other things that you do, but not to, not to be unable to deal with that. And, uh...